And this is where I go to Huxley's work. Aldous Huxley wrote the book Brave New World. And in it, he delineates specific characters who actually say, you know, you ought to be more promiscuous. And all of this, uh, all of this notion of just being with one person or of waiting is of, of being patient for the fulfillment of a demand is unhealthy. And obviously, he draws this back in this fable to this notion of a, of a, of a, of a of some kind of a, a, a world ruler who's intent on keeping people uh, in a state of the enjoyment of their own servitude by the repression of these higher impulses through the basic, like, it, it's basically understood in Brave New World, in their society, that marriage is just vile, disgusting, and all impulses towards it are, and that sex is something that has to belong to everyone, and be free to everyone in at least the way that, say, a car is free to everyone who has the money for it, but it's mass-produced. And in that book, there's a character called John Savage, who comes from outside society, and who reads Shakespeare and knows all these wonderful things about human potential. The same thing that Carl Jung knew, the same thing that Abraham Maslow knew, the same thing that the ancient yogis of India knew, across all cultural boundaries. And it's like, he's put down as an insane savage. And when I first read it, it's like, it's so obvious. Like, for fuck's sake, I'm not putting forth enough effort to be more like John Savage. And Aldous Huxley to say, look, guys, there are some things worth waiting for. There are some things worth walking a, walking a, a tightrope for. The, and it's, it's, it's out of a fear of rejection by not, at this point, not just by one person, but by all society at large. That one can even conceive of the fulfillment of one's necessary impulses a, a, as, as somehow more important than, you know, than that kind of commitment. But, I mean, obviously, if you really enjoy sex, you don't view it as something compulsory. And not all people will necessarily enjoy that kind of thing. I, I could very much imagine falling into a depression from losing my virginity too soon. Why not? I mean, I did rush things with my first girlfriend. I didn't have sex with her, but I rushed the relationship. So why should it be that we have to submit to some kind of um, infantile decorum and any pretension to anything 